What's up everyone, Tony here for part 81 of my first person HUDless Red Dead Redemption 2 walkthrough. And today we head over to New Austin proper for the first and only time in Red Dead Redemption 2's main story. We'll hunt an elusive bounty with Sadie here in an honest day's labors. Let's head into the bar. There's always work. Whole country's getting robbed. robbed and of course. And robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world. Who do you think's the in the bar? Victims of bastards and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you exactly? Me? My time. All three. But same as most people. I guess. It's the Sadie lady. Thing about this job, well, She's a bounty hunter. I just might get to be all She's a pro. There. How you mean? She's rank 20, all maxed out. Shane Finley. And she's looking for associates. She's looking for a posse to get some of the tougher ones. And John Marston is is the homie. They have history. I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're robbing bounties. The down south, waiting to head north so they the can disrespect. Have, state troopers in the north country. have you no class, Given bounty hunter? It's just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah. It's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. South. Come on, up. We got a ride ahead of us. Hey. Of course we do. I need the money. You tell me bounty hunting is legal. All right, girl. It's all good. It's all by the books. Oh. Technically not letting yes, Abigail or Jack down because it's legal. And we just need a bit of money to build a house, build a barn, build a couple things, clean a couple things, maybe buy some furniture at some point. I don't know. My ranch, it's something else, you know. He's so proud already. Ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. So now we're gonna ride really we're riding west. Further west. And this is the true introduction to New Austin proper. We're kind of on the outskirts here. Beecher's Hope is kind of on like the line of like uh Blackwater area, Great Plains, whatever you want to call it. And New Austin, which is the true main map of Red Dead Redemption 1. Now, here's the amazing thing. As far as I could remember, this is the only main story mission in the entire game where we go to New Austin. That blew my mind, okay? New Austin is a big part of this game's map. Okay, it takes up a lot of space. It is detailed. It is dense. There's a lot of stuff to do. There's a lot of stuff there. And they only do one mission in the game's epilogue. In this whole giant area of the map. It's just mind-blowing. It's just, it's crazy. They do Gwarma. They do New Austin. They do all these areas that are used for so little even though they could be used like i feel like most games new austin would be the whole game's map gorma would be the whole like maybe not gorma it's a little small but you know gorma would be most of the game's map you know in, in another in a lesser game but these absolute madmen <laughs> they don't care they just keep bringing up new gigantic things for like five minutes and they're like okay that's over moving on you see a man whose character changed I see a man and here we see the the philosophies on Dutch a little bit more here 
fool to follow him. I was a fool. John I was thinks a fool. he was a, a bad apple from the start. He basically thinks Max, chapter Max, six just exposed his true colors, but, long, but I blame Micah for most Sadie is more like he was good once and then Micah got in his ear and screwed him up. I, hope I don't know. Again, I think it's a bit of both. I think it's a bit of both. Come on. So after that nice little convo, we get a little uh, fast travel here. And we head to New Austin. See, we still got a little bit of, gra of like grass here. But then we get into the real, there we go, the canyons. The ugliness of New Austin. James Langton, the bounty hunter. You got this outlaw you kept. This mission is basically like one of the legendary bounties in Red Dead Online. It works very like much in the same way. It's a huge like a huge amount of of just enemies shooting at you. It's just a massive, massive shootout. And you gotta capture a bounty and deliver them. But boy, we gotta shoot some dudes in this mission. That is for sure. I need my freaking carbine repeater, man. Oh my lord. Here we are, John Marston. New Austin. Better get real familiar with this place. This is the place. It's a view, all right. There it is. I was like, I was like losing it when I first saw this. It's armadillo. It's armadillo. Let's go take a look down in the valley. Holy crap! There it is. The game. The legendary game. I think I see some. There they are. Yep. There they are. Down there. Coming out of armadillo. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the fellow who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And uh -huh. that big fat feller with the funny hat, that's James Langton. The other feller just worked for him. Where do you think they're heading? Uh, come on. Let's go follow them. Yeah. Flats. Come on, then. Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. Oh boy. I think this mission has a little bit of horseback shooting. My mortal enemy. Alright, now we gotta scope it out. Scope it out from a distance. Riding around New Austin. Yeah, that's just mind blowing. That it's only one mission. Like, come on, guys. Give us some of that single player DLC. Use your map, for goodness sake. Just give, give the word, Sadie. Give the word. Just give the word. Talking to yourself near me, girl. All right, all right. So now I think you could, again, do sneaky, sneaky or guns blazing. I think y'all know what I'm about to do. I think y'all know what the way, the only way to do this is. We're going guns blazing. For it. A little more, a little more following, a little more stalking. All right, I think okay, this is the spot. Yeah. This might be our chance. Okay. 
Do I have some health? Yes, I do. I'm gonna need that. Because there's a lot of them. What are they waiting for? Ah, the rest of Langton's men, I think. Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men, and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> Thanks, Great. Eddie. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them, start shooting at them, or sneak down and huh. them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity. Is that what you think, Sadie? Yeah. It's your call. Buddy, we're shooting the gang. Let's just start shooting. Maybe they'll all run off. Yeah, they'll All right. I'm going over here. I'm going over here. Die. 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 All right. Now we got to make our way down. I think Okay. So now they just all start appearing up here. Yeah, see? Oh god. Boom. Yeah, this is... I remember this mission giving me a bit of trouble the first time through. This is some craziness. Like, it just gets insane. The amount of enemies in this one. Making up for all the, the cute missions we've been doing up to now. <laughs> Buying land. Getting a loan. Buddy. This is still crazy western cowboy superhero the game. We need to shoot some dudes. Oh god. I think I'm out of dead eye. Chew some tobacco. Sadie, you need to slow down, girl. You need to slow down. You're, you're scaring me. But look how many. Do not shoot the rock. Oh. 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 Sadie. There's more. Up there. Oh. Okay. Heading down. Holy hell. Yeah, this is... Get some dead eye stuff. Chewing tobacco, whatever. Because there's a lot of them. There is a lot of them. Where is this guy? Okay, buddy. What's it look like? Sadie. <laughs> Sadie. <laughs> She's holding that gun real tight. Oh boy. I need this. Because I am paranoid about uh, shooting while on horseback, still. So I need, I need all the health I could get, and I need to be very, very careful on horseback. Don't run into Sadie. Uh, okay, oh, one. She got him. Okay. Please don't go out of control, horsey. <laughs> Please. Oh god. How did that miss? Oh. Okay. Good god. Um. Oh, there. Okay. Oh, a big... 
Remember when I said there was lots of guys to shoot in this mission? Yep. Wasn't kidding. Wasn't kidding. Not even for a second. <laughs> this is crazy. Are we? Are we, Marston? Is that it? Holy hell. Oof. Lots of dead eye kids. Lots of dead eye, lots of health tonics. And you'll be okay, I think. Lots of ammo. So with that, we leave New Austin as a part of the main story. So I really think <laughs> the reason why New Austin is in this game is the fan service. It is the, the detail of the world, right? They want everything to hit you. They want the fact that you build John's house in Beecher's Hope feel real. So, I figure if they just made, like, Blackwater and this field here near Blackwater where, um, John's house is, and then if you continued to head west, there was no land there and no New Austin and no Armadillo and Tumbleweed and all those all those places, people would be like, or like, it would just be a, there'd be a disconnect, right? This game that's so meticulously detailed and just beautiful. You needed a whole There'd be a disconnect, you know, if there was like an invisible wall or something and you just couldn't go there. So they did it. But obviously they didn't have many like story ideas to go with it, right? It's not like they... They weren't going to just put a bunch of missions in New Austin because that's not the story. That's the next game. So basically it's fan service. I see it as fan service. It's like you could go visit, you could reminisce, you could get all nostalgied over the, the, the first game's map being there. And I appreciate it. It's, I think it's the coolest thing. I love that. It's Pokemon Gold and Silver all over again for a new generation. Wonderful. Best post game ever, probably. Sadie. Is this the place? I believe we're here. It's a little dark. Grab him and bring him in, Tom. Sure. You're a bitch and a bastard. Alright, pal. Great. Let's, uh, Look at this. Put him in the cell. Pure bounty hunter mission. I've definitely been doing tons of bounty hunter missions in Red Dead Online. And it's just like this. I wonder where they got the idea from. I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. <laughs> Here. There's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> you want this money to go to the bank, too? No. He's like that crazy Sadie lady. <laughs> okay. She's killing everyone out here. It's... John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you there you can go. Find me in town, or He's not afraid life. anymore. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> hmm. Be well, John. Come on, John. Yeah, I like that. I like that he's like, okay, you know what though? This is my new home. I'm not going by the fake name anymore. I got to be myself. As for Sadie, I think we'll be seeing her around. I feel like John might need some more money in the near future, and bounty hunting might be the only way he knows how to make money. So we'll see. That's going to wrap it up for today. Join me next time for part 82.